are you doing guys? It's Alessandro here from Spicy Moustache with some new tips in order to help you create in your own green area, indoor or outdoor, following the principle of do as nature does. Most people think they can grow food for unlimited time throughout the year due to the cold months not allowing you to grow anything. However, there are many ways to keep growing food during the whole year. And I'm not talking about only cold resistant vegetables, but all the kind of vegetables that you wouldn't normally grow in open air. So dig up the like button and today I'll show you how to build a cover for your raised beds in a few easy steps using simple materials. There are many different plants that you could plant in the garden between the end of the summer and the beginning of fall, depending on your climate. The key to a successful winter harvest is to know what vegetables to grow and to pair them with the right season extenders. That means growing cold tolerant crops in structures like cold frames, polytunnels or greenhouses. You could either buy a pre-made kit tunnel or make one from scratches like we're going to do today. It's also important to understand that the growth of most vegetables slows down once the day starts to shrink to less than 10 hours a day of sunlight. For my area, that happens around November, so I need to make sure that most vegetables reach a good size before this happens. At that point, my cold tolerant vegetables stay tucked in inside my season extenders waiting for me to harvest them. What I'm gonna plant today is purple broccoli, a few varieties of lettuce, and my absolute favorite, tatsoi. However, there are many other things that you could grow during the winter, like kale, fast-growing spinach, leeks, and a few varieties of carrots. To prepare your raised beds for the winter plants, there are a few steps that I would suggest in order to reduce your wastage and also create optimal growing conditions for your plant. First of all, you should cut all the plants left over from the previous season right at the base. The reason why you shouldn't take out the roots from the garden is because they will slowly decompose and turn into nutrients for the microorganisms in your garden and so feed the next plant that you're going to plant in that area. There is a micro universe underneath your soil and every time you dig, you will disturb the micro and macro organisms. Also, plants interact with mycelium, creating symbiotic relationships that helps them to thrive. And every time you dig, you disturb them and potentially damage them. However, don't chuck away those plant material, but you can use it to create different things. For example, you can add it to your compost to turn it into new nutrients for your plants, or you can add it to your worm bin to feed your worms or alternatively, you could create new fertilizer by adding the plant material to a bucket, collect some leaf mold from an area with high vegetation, and add rainwater or unchlorinated. The only extra thing that I do is to add around 10 centimeters of homemade compost or store-bought compost to the raised bed before planting out your plant. This will be an ideal new home for the plants that you're going to plant in the garden rich in nutrients and microorganisms. What we're making today is the easiest and cheapest way to protect your winter vegetables. To make this DIY project, you will need to buy or recycle a few secondhand materials if you're lucky enough to find them or have some neighbors that are chucking it away. I will use 1.5 centimeters thick PVC pipes as they're really flexible and ideal to bend and create a frame. You would also need a timber that you will use at the top to join all your arches and create a solid structure. Some metal saddle pipe clips that you will use to secure your PVC tubes to the sides of your raised bed. Just make sure they are water resistant. And lastly, a plastic sheet or similar material that it will be the main cover to protect your raised bed. Make sure it's transparent as you would need light in there to grow all your vegetables. Also get some cable ties or metal wire that you will need to secure the plastic sheet on your frame. To start building your cover for your raised bed, you need to understand first what kind of plant you're going to plant in there, because you need to make it tall enough to fit your plant. Measure the length of your raised bed and mark with a marker wherever you want to put your arches. I would suggest to put one at the beginning and one at the end, 
no matter the size of your raised bed. For this specific raised bed, I'm gonna use four arches. So I'm gonna mark four different spots where I'm gonna put the arches to support the structure of my cover. Now repeat the same process on the other side of your raised bed, making sure they are matching the same marks that you did on the previous side. Now drilling your metal pipe clips on each mark that you previously did on your raised bed, making sure not to drill all the way through as you will need some space to fit your tubes. I'm using the inner side of my raised bed just because it's really close to the fence, but you could also do it on the outer side. The next step is to cut your PVC tube in sections, making sure they're all the same length. Fit one end of your PVC tube into your pipe clip and secure it in place by drilling all the way through your clips. Repeat the process with all the other tubes for each side of your raised bed. Once you have your basic structure, the next thing you will need to do is to place two timbers, one at the beginning of uh, your cover and one at the end of the raised bed so it would be a much sturdy structure in order to support the plastic sheet that is going over it. Once I place the two timbers, one at the beginning of the raised bed and one at the end, what I did was to attach them to the planter, uh, placing a screw uh, on both of them at the bottom and now I'm gonna add this to the top and join it to my PVC arches with some cable ties. Now that your structure is done, your last step is to add your plastic sheet. So this is a really easy process. Uh, the only thing is to remember to secure this plastic sheet in place. You can either do that by stapling the sides or adding some bricks or wooden branches. Just make sure that one of the sides is left open so you can easily access what's inside and take care of your plants or water them whenever it's needed. This is a simple and easy way to extend your growing season or to grow fall vegetables throughout the winter, providing some extra food during the cold months. There is no need for special skills and you can do it even if you have no experience in any DIY project. I hope you liked today's video and if so, please subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification settings so you can be notified every time I post a new video. And I'll see you next week for another episode. Thank you so much for watching. See ya.